We are following breaking news. House Majority Whip Tom Emmer has won the GOP nomination for Speaker. CBS News Congressional Correspondent Nicole Killian joins us now from Capitol Hill. Nicole, we spoke just seconds, minutes ago, and there were still two front, runner, two front runners. What's the latest? What happened? Well, according to GOP conference chair Elise Stefanik, she just congratulated Republican Whip Tom Emmer as the speaker designate. So that means he is now the official nominee for uh, the House Republican Party in terms of speaker. Now, uh, what we are waiting to find out is whether or not they will try to coalesce behind him while they are in this meeting. You'll recall in other instances where we have had a speaker designate. There have been some debates about making sure House Republicans are united behind that candidate before they go to the House floor. So that appears to be the discussion that they're having right now. I talked to some members about that, if it was important to coalesce around someone before they head to the floor for an official vote. And I was told, at least by Congressman Chip Roy, that uh, that is the route uh, some would like to go. Of course, he is one of those who propose that any nominee get 217 votes behind closed doors before they move to the floor for a vote, for the very reason that we saw last week with Jim Jordan, where you continue to see these splits and fractures on the House floor with other members voting for other candidates. So Republicans are trying to avoid that if they can, should they decide to try to hold another kind of internal vote or discussion, if you will, to make sure that everyone truly backs. Tom Emmer, even though he is now the speaker designate, because keep in mind, and I haven't seen the final tally, but uh, he was getting just over 100 members. And as you know, on the House floor, he's going to need that 217 uh, magic number to be able to get the gavel. So it's really important that they have a true sense of that uh, before going to the floor. So that's where the current process stands. All right, Nicole, I know that former President Donald Trump called him a big fan of his, uh, but he didn't explicitly endorse him. Uh, Emmer is not an election denier. Um, so talk to us about just how relevant does the figure of Donald Trump uh, become if he becomes uh, the speaker, if Emmer becomes speaker? What does that tell us about where Congress stands in terms of the power of Donald Trump? Well, I think it's an open question mark, particularly after last week where we saw the former president really put a bull-throated endorsement behind Jim Jordan, and that ultimately was not enough to get him across the finish line. And so uh, how much does a Trump endorsement matter in this race? I think you know, one could argue it helps, but one could also argue that it hurts or may not make as much of a difference. I mean, ultimately, this is a decision that has to be made by rank and file members. And at this point, uh, this really is kind of a come to Jesus moment for House Republicans, where if they want to move forward in this process, they are going to have to come together. And the former president is not here. He doesn't serve in Congress. So it's really not a vote uh, that he has in this race, even though he may have some skin in the game in terms of who he would like to see in the position. But there is a growing sense of frustration that this process has dragged on long enough. I think that is why you saw the process this morning move relatively quickly, even though we had the most candidates we have seen thus far in this race. And so that's kind of why there's this family discussion now about making sure that Emmer has that full support uh, before he potentially goes to the House floor. I would also note the timing on that continues to remain fluid. I did speak to uh, Speaker Pro Tem Patrick McHenry, who kind of also has a say in the process. And when I asked him earlier if the goal was to try to hold a vote either this afternoon or tonight, he simply went like this. So, ah, so we don't uh, you know. know, again, things remain relatively fluid. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, that, that is, again, uh, why I think you see Republicans continuing to meet behind closed doors to see if they can kind of shore up support behind Emmer before making that next formal move. Well, we can keep doing this all day or at least up until uh, America decides. Nicole Killian, thank you so much. We'll wait for more news from you.